The title of my dissertation is called Unearthing Deeper Connotations in George L. Romero's First Three Zombie Films. The films are Night of the Living Dead from 1968, Dawn of the Dead from 1978, and Day of the Dead from 1985. These films all take place during the Cold War, with Night of the Living Dead being at the, the height of the Vietnam War, Dawn of the Dead being after the Vietnam War just ended, and Day of the Dead 10 years after the Vietnam War. So what I'm, I want to do in this dissertation is to find out if there's a way of relating fears and anxieties from the public within these films. The title of my dissertation... So we'll start with Night of the Living Dead from 1968. This was probably the most controversial release as racism was a big thing in America at the time and it was at the height of the Vietnam War. Romero didn't change the script. He originally had in mind that the lead actor would be played by a white guy. It sure happened that Dwayne Jones was the best actor he knew. So he cast Dwayne Jones and he did not change the script one bit. Even the bit at the end where the rednecks shoot him, it was all done by mistaken identity, nothing to do with the racial factor. On the night of the on the night he finished the edit, he was driving to New York and he heard on the radio that Martin Luther King had been shot. He knew there and then that this was going to be a big racial thing and it was going to be a racial stance on America. So we'll start with Night of the Living Dead. By the time Dawn of the Dead came around in 1978, the Vietnam War had ended. But the Cold War still continued. And many, many of the society members were still afraid and didn't know what to do. A depression was in the air. So many of the, many of the public turned to consumerism and large shopping malls were built. And when, in fact, when George Romero was shooting the film Martin the year before, he visited a shopping mall in Pittsburgh. It was this shopping mall where he came up with the idea that what if there was a zombie attack within the shopping mall? And that is how Dawn of the Dead came about. Day of the Dead. This was set long after the Vietnam War had ended. The Cold War continues. Um, Ronald Reagan in the 1980s gave a more confrontational approach. This was compared to the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962, where the world was unsure whether they'll be blown away for 13 days. That was, that's what the public was afraid of. In the conclusion, I'll be asking, do these films reflect society? I'll be arguing that the answer is yes, and I'll be finding evidence to back up my conclusion.